Hey everyone, uh, Lawrence here from Mango Map. I uh, hope you're doing well today. Um, not suffering too much under the, the lockdown conditions. I uh, hope everything's you know staying strong. Uh, today, I just want to do a quick video on uh, using Mango uh, for uh, remote presentations. Um, under, under current situations, uh, it's very hard to meet people face to face. Uh, so what I really wanted to show you today is um, how you can use Mango uh, to, to ensure that you can still make presentations, you know, uh, whether that's a presentation to, to management, uh, a report, uh, whether you're pre presenting to uh, an existing client, a potential client, which is the use case that I'm going to use today. Um, you can do that by recording uh, a Loom video like I am now and then sending that via email, which is essentially a screen sharing uh, software. Or you can use something like Google Hangouts um, to do a live share of your screen. Um, so then that sort of that interactive element is still there. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into this. Um, I've, I've got this map, this, this territory map uh, loaded here. We have it on the, the website. Um, it's of Minneapolis. Um, so this map could be used for sales territories. Um, it could be used for location analysis, for opening a new retail outlet, um, for like a retail chain. Um, but how it's designed is as we work with a lot of franchises. So that's what I'm going to use it for today. So this is basically uh, to show um, for a fictional brand, um, a, like a franchise territory map. Now, as you see, you've got green, red, and, and sort of a beigey color here uh, for, for each territory. Now, that's the, the first thing I wanted to say is, you know, with this map, it's very visual. So you can insert, once you load it up, and for example, imagine that this is a presentation to a potential franchisee who's interested in purchasing a territory. Right, so you can open this map, load up Google Hangouts, and share your screen with the potential uh, franchisee. And instantly they'll say, "Okay, well, I've got this the the Plymouth territory here, uh, this one here. Uh, I can see that's red. I know it's taken. So, but which of the green territories um, is best for me? Which one am I interested in? Um, and that's the job of the person doing the presentation. That you can actually take someone through this map now." And have a very interactive, engaging experience, um, and showing them going doing a deeper dive into the data. So yeah, let's get cracking. Um, so let's click on a territory here. Now, if you're giving a presentation to someone um, and you're sharing your screen, you can start clicking on some of the territories that they might be interested in. Now, we've loaded this data into the map here, so it's, we can see it's available. Uh, we've got the population, we've got the number of households, we've got the median age, we've got the unemployment rate, we've got the average median income now that's there for every single territory um, so very quickly you can start showing your potential franchisee um, you know the underlying data for each territory um, just by just by pointing and clicking you know they might not have done any prior research uh, they might have done prior research um, so you can actually you know go around the map showing them you know, either the research that they've done, say they might be interested in a specific area, or they might just want to have a look at the data. So you can do both of those and you can do it very interactively. You can do it live with them and they can see uh, the data for themselves. Um, you can also imagine that this, this is a territory that they're interested in. Uh, you can actually share that specific feature with them by clicking this button within the pop-up. So you can copy the, copy the link to this feature and then send it to them live across the Google Hangouts chat and they can load that map and feature for themselves. Uh, you can email it to them and, and you can share it on uh, social media as well. So that's just, that's just built in. Um, so you're having the conversation, you're making the presentation, you're looking at the data, you know, a light bulb moment goes off in the, in the eyes of the potential franchisee. Uh, and then you can share that with them instantly. They can load it in their browser and they can have a bit more of a look. They can go away and think about it. Uh, and then so that, that sort of that communication, even though you're not face to face, uh, it's a very seamless way to do it remotely. Um, we can also do, um, we can also utilize some of Mango's tools uh, within the system uh, to start doing queries and start having a look uh, and doing more of the research stage. The potential franchisee might be at a very early stage of looking into it. Uh, so you can actually guide them through it uh, by using some of the analysis tools. So I've prepared an example. So say for example, um, the potential franchisee uh, has been driving around this area, Minneapolis, and they've noticed a specific area and they think this would be a great place to open an outlet of, you know, example franchise. So they could come to you and say, I was driving around Schmidt Lake area. So you can type in the address here. 
Now, any, and instantly it comes up. We'll say it's Schmidt Lake Road. So we can just press that. And instantly, they can now see that this area is green, so it's available. They can also start checking out some of the data to see if their first impressions of that area uh, tie with the data that you have. Because if we have a look here, it's 3.7% 3, 3 unemployment. We've got an average wage of $88,747. We've got a population of 36,000. I mean, it's looking pretty good as a territory, um, you know, as long as that's the, um, you know, the chosen criteria and the target customer of the franchise. Now, if you um, type, type in here again, see you, you lose a little pop up there. So I'll just put that in again. Here it comes. You can um, also make live changes to the map and then share those as well. So I want to show you the sketch tool now. Uh, so you just come down here to sketches and you create, create a sketch. And let's just call this the Schmidt Lake. Schmidt Lake, let's just capitalize that out. Schmidt Lake sketch, uh, so you press done. And you can make a, a, like, a, like an overlay sketch on the map to say, okay, this is the area that we were looking at. So we can go to the straw polygon here. And let's just say this, this road is, is where, they, where they were driving around to have a look. And you can just come down here and make a sketch on the map and then click back on that one there just to Bring it up, and then you can do some styling options. I'm going to keep it like that color because you can see it against the green background quite well. And then you just press done. Now, if you zoom out, that sketch is still there, and you can share the sketch um, just to say that this is the area is where we decided we're going to go and have a look uh, as a as a potential place to open the outlook. And um, there's multiple multiple use cases of what you would want to use that sketch for. Um, you can also come on, because when you uh, click off the map, this address search here, the little icon will be removed. So you can actually come down back to the sketch tool and you can put the marker there, and press done. You can make changes to the sketch as well. And now that sketch will um, is, is able to be shared uh, with the potential uh, franchisee. You can also come up here and you can print that out just so that there's a record of uh, where your um, negotiations got to. So as you can see, with uh, a tool like Google Hangouts, you can share your screen and very, very quickly uh, begin what amounts to a very interactive, a very engaging uh, experience. Um, you know, you do not have to be in the same room as someone in order to, to have that engaging experience in a presentation format. Um, so I hope that that was uh, useful, just giving you an overview of some of the ways that you can uh, some of the tools that you can use within Mango to, to, to ensure that, you know, you can keep presentations going. Uh, business doesn't have to completely shut uh, because of the remote working. We at Mango are a remote first company, so we're used to working under this environment. Uh, we understand that it might be a bit of a challenge for, for some people who are making that transition uh, right now. Uh, so if there's any more, if there's any questions that you have about that, um, please feel free to get in touch. Um, we'll be happy to send you over a Loom video, jump on a call um, and help you in any way that we can. Um, really, um, you know, power through these remote workflows that you might be getting used to for the first time. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you soon. Thank you.